We start in a new day, and in this case, is the uh, session number three, and we are in the second week. Um, we are going to continue with the topic that we were developing yesterday, and um, if you can hear, I have some uh, problems with my voice, so it's going to be like kind of complicated because um, I'm not having this kind of, of troubles right now because I am not sick, but uh, my thing is a, a stress problem or something like that. So if you um, can listen through the video and uh, the session, um, I'm going to have this kind of a voice. So if you can understand what I am saying, uh, you can tell me because I am having uh, these troubles right now with with the sound of my voice. But this is just for a uh, it's a matter of my my work because I am working as a teacher and I have a lot of uh, things to do during these days. So I have um, this reaction when I have a lot of work to do and a lot of activities to complete. But we are going to complete this session uh, making a little review of the information that we have on the document that we uh, are using to, uh, to talk about all the topics that we are uh, developing through the week. So um, let me share the screen and show you what was the last thing that we were um learning yesterday so i'm going to show you just the um the structures in this case because we are going to have a a short ex exercise using those structures but in this case it's just like make a review so in this case we were talking about what rather and would prefer and we have different uh, structures that we can use um, when we are using uh, that information. And you know that we have like a, more than one structure. In this case, we have the positive and the question. And in this case, we don't have the negative part uh, like in the other uh, exercises or in the other uh, a structure that we have when we are talking in English or using structures in English. So in this case, we are going to have just positive and questions. So, and in this case, we have different structures uh, for, for would rather and would prefer. So in this case, we have the positive one in which we have this uh, structure that is the subject plus would rather plus the verb. Then for the questions, we have would uh, plus a subject plus a rather plus verb plus question mark. Then we have, in this case, we have a negative. We are going to use the negative. Um, in this case, you are just going to add a not because in this case, uh, you are going to choose between two different options. Then in this one, we have also the use of then, the use of or, and also we have the use of someone do. And we have the structure for those um, for those parts of the topic. Then we have, in this case, uh, we prefer, and in this case we have just, and this one is just the positive and question. And in will rather, we have negative, but in, in would prefer, we have a just a positive and, and questions. So all of those are these, uh, the instructors that we were like um, learning yesterday. 
And I'm going to show you some examples, or in this case, uh, like short uh, exercises related to this topic. I'm just going to write the, the sentences. I will give you the answers because uh, we are not complete with all of the participants of this uh, of this uh, group because I don't know if there are some troubles uh, with the connection, it is raining or something like that, but now it's time for the others to come to the session. So I don't know what is happening. So we're going to see the example of the exercise. In this case, it's an exercise that it is supposed that we're going to, to develop right now. But, uh, I'm just going to show you. Oh, I, I imagine that it is raining or something like that. So let's see, in this case, I'm going to just write the exercise, but at the same time, I'm going to give you like the answer because in this case, I'm just going to explain the, the exercise and we're going to end this part of the topic because this is for a yesterday's topic. And then we're going to see another one that is the new topic that we're going to develop um today so let's see in this case i have some sentences for you the first exercise is um writing or saying <clears throat> the correct form of the verb and we have the verb do defer to do doing or did in this case. So we have a, those a verbs to complete the sentences that we have here. And we have the sentences. In this one, it says Jennifer uh, would rather then we have the verb stay. Home for dinner tonight. Um, for dinner tonight. Then we have, I think I will prefer And we have the verb play. Okay, just give me a second because I know that um, you are going to have like kind of troubles to enter the, the session because um, there is a, it's not a problem, it's like, uh, something happened with Zoom and uh, some of your um, partners are not going to enter. So give me a second. I'm going to tell them how to do it.
So give me a moment. Let me go to this one. I breaking up. Can I copy? Oh my God, I can copy the message. And I need to send this video to, okay, um, it soon has an actualization. So in that case, uh, some of the participants are not going to be able to enter the, the meeting because uh, you need to change uh, or to do something different to enter the, the meetings on Zoom right now. So. That's why I was sending uh, some uh, information that we have about uh, the changes on uh, on Zoom. So I'm so sorry for for that. But it, it, some of your uh, partners uh, need to need that information to to enter the meeting. So then we're going to continue with the exercise, but in this case, the examples. Then she said that play chess. Chess today. Or you rather I and then we have the verb play. I mean, leave in this case. Leave. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. You alone. I would rather the students. The study. for their desks. And then we have Peter's. Peter prefers relax at home on the weekend. Okay, in this case, I was saying, I'm sorry, because my my voice is going to sound uh, kind of weird, but um, but we are going to continue with the session with that. So I was saying at the beginning that we are going to develop this exercise. And in this case, I am just uh, explaining uh, the, uh, the answers of these uh, sentences because I know some of the participants have problems uh, entering the, the session because of that. Um, the changes on Zoom. So in this case, we have uh, five different um, sentences. And in this case, we need to write the correct form of the word that we have there. Because in that case, if you can see uh, in the place that it says, 
the correct form of the verb. We have the example, do, to do, doing, and did. We have do without the to, but it is in, in the base form. Then we have the infinitive, to do. Then we have doing, that is uh, gerund. And we have did, that is past. So that example is referring to the way in which we are going to write um, the verb when we are using these uh, structures of the would rather and will prefer. So in the case of the first one, Jennifer will rather, and we have the word stay, home for dinner tonight. In that case, we are going to use um, base form, infinitive, gerund, or past for that uh, sentence. What do you think we are going to do? We're going to use the base form, we are going to use the infinitive, or we are going to use the gerund or the past. What do you think is the best option? The infinitive the form. Mm, Jennifer would rather to stay. Um, do you think that is that sounds good? In that case, we are not going to use the infinitive. In that case, we are going to use the base form. In this case, we are going to have just a stay. Because if you uh, say the, the sentence, you can uh, hear that it is not like um, sounding in a correct way. Jennifer would rather to stay. It is like kind of weird and you can uh, notice that it's not the, be the best option. Jennifer would rather stay home for dinner tonight. Then in this case, I think I would prefer playing Played in past, play or to play, chess today. To play? In this case, is to play, good. I think I would prefer to play chess today. Then, would you rather I, and we have the verb leave, in this case, we're going to write leave, to leave, leaving, or left you alone. The base form? Leave. Uh, would you rather I leave left. alone? Left. Leave. Someone said the, the correct answer. In this case, left. someone said the past. Leave. In this case is I left leave. you I alone. Left. Okay. Would you rather I left in you? In past? Yes, in past. In the past. Then in this one, I would rather the students study to study, studying or study for their tests. In this one, we're going to use the base. Uh, the uh, base. Uh, and for this one, we have two options. For the last one, we can use two options to um, express the action in this in this um uh, sentence. So Peter prefers. Relax, to relax, relaxing, or relaxed in past. We can use two options. Relaxing. Mm -hmm. 
Relaxing is one. Relaxing, relax. Relaxing is one, and we have another one. Te relaxing at home. To relax, to relax is the second one. To relax. We can use, uh, in this case, uh, two different uh, sentences. So we can, uh, I mean, two different um, forms of the verb. We have relaxing or to relax. So in that case, no, it's, it's the same. Yes. In that case, okay. you are uh, referring to something that you are going to do on the weekend. You know that when we are using the gerunds, or in this case, uh, yes, when we're using the gerunds, we are talking about uh, actions that we are going to perform in a short time. And in this case, it's like when we are using the going to, that you are like expressing something that you are going to do in a period of time. So in this case, Peter prefers relaxing at home on the weekend and uh, Peter prefers to relax at home on the weekend. So in that case, it's the same meaning. So you are going to use like different forms of the verb. They, they, same, they are the same thing. Okay. So now um, we're going to have another exercise, but in this case, I'm going to move to the uh, structures because I need you to um, write on the chat one sentence with would rather in one sentence with will prefer. And remember that also we, um, we're using prefer without will. We were using a the prefer in this case like this. Let me go to the prefer without wool. That is this one. Expressing preference without uh, with prefer. This one. Expressing preference with prefer, but in this case, um, you are using um just the subject, the prefer and the object. So you can use also. This is structure for prefer, but if you want to use will prefer, you can do it too. So I need you to write two sentences, one with would rather, and the other one is with will prefer. So remember that we have this one, or would rather here. You have the subject, plus would rather plus the verb. Then you have question, but in this case, I just need a, a sentence, not a question. You have the negative subject plus would rather plus not plus be. You can use then in this case. Uh, so in that case, it's like you are going to make a, a, a choose between two different things. Then we have would rather or, also we have would rather someone do. So you have a lot of uh, structures there you can use to create your sentences. So I need you to write two sentences and I'm going to write it on uh, the document here in this part. So I'm going to give you a couple of minutes to write the sentence on the chat. So please write your examples using would rather and would prefer.
Okay, if you have your sentences uh, already, you can please uh, write them on the chat because we need to uh, continue with the other topics that we have for today.
So here we have some uh, sentences, some example of uh, the way we use the rather and would prefer. And if you can see, we have some elements in there that we miss in some cases. So you can you can see like the different uh, sentences that we have there. Would you rather stay at home? We would prefer to stay with him. She would rather eat pizza than Mexican food. I would prefer to stay at home tonight. I would prefer to listen to rock music. Would you rather have tea or coffee? I would prefer to play soccer. I would prefer to play drums in this group. My sister would prefer to go to the beach on the holiday. She would rather speak English. And then we have, would Tom prefer to drink wine for dinner tonight? So in that case, we have the examples there of the way in which we apply this information. And now we are going to continue. In this case, uh, I was telling you yesterday that we are going to um, develop the um, knowledge check. And also we are going to develop a listen exercise that we have on the platform. So we are going to see what are the check, uh, the knowledge check uh, on the section number three. And in this case, um, if you are not or you didn't um, do that uh, knowledge check, you can do it uh, right now because we are going to do it in this moment. And also, if you um, didn't do the listening exercise, we can uh, do it right now. Because you know that uh, for tomorrow, that is the, the session number four, you need to have uh, that uh, section complete. So in this case, we are going to see two of the exercises that we have on the platform. And you can, if you, in this case is for the people that didn't work on the, the, the knowledge check and the um, listening exercise that we're going to perform right now, you can do it after the session because you need to have your section number three complete for tomorrow. In this case, we're not going to work uh, on Friday because we have just four days in this week and we're going to complete the sessions in the established time. So if you um, didn't uh, complete those exercises, you can uh, do it uh, after, this, um, after this session and you are going to have the answer because we're going to uh, see what are the uh, exercises that we have there. So we're going to do the knowledge check that is 3.4 on the platform. So let's see this one. And then we are going to see the, or in this case, to listen the listening exercise. So this is the knowledge check that we're going to perform right now. And in this case, it said, complete the conversations with would and the appropriate form of the verbs in parentheses. Some will be in the form of infinitive, others just the verbs. We have, let me see, four different situations, but they are like six, six different sentences. So in this case, we have number one, a, would you prefer a course in exercise science or in nutritional science? And we have the verb take. What is the correct uh, answer for that exercise? What is the form, the correct form of the verb? To take. 
to take. Good. To take. Remember that when you are writing your answers, you need to, to see if you are writing capital letters in this kind of exercise. Because you know that the word that you are using or the, the space that you are using is in the middle of the sentence. So in that case, you are not going to use a capital words. Then number one B, I will prefer for a nutritional science course because it is more, uh, more useful for me in nursing. And we have the verb register. In that case, what is the correct form of that verb? To register. To, good. To register, good. Then we have number two. The people that um, didn't perform or didn't do this uh, exercise, you can uh, see the answers uh, that you are going to write on the knowledge check. So, number two, A, would you rather English in Australia or Canada? Would you rather English in Australia or Canada? And you have learn. What is the correct form of learn? Learn. In this case, you're going to write it like this, learn. Then number two, B, I think I prefer in Australia because it's warmer there. And we have the verb study. In that case, what is the correct form of a study? A study? To a study. To? Oh. Yes, to, to a study. study. Good. Then we have number three. A, if you needed to learn a new skill, would you prefer to attend a class or a private tutor? And we have have in this case. And to have. To have. Okay, to have. Let's see. Three. B. I'd rather sing up for a class than a tutor. I, I, I guess that is like a mistake. And we have hired. In that case, what is the correct form of that verb? What do you think is the correct form of the verb? To hire. hire. To, to hire. To hire. To hire. Okay. Then we have four. A. Would you rather a choir or an orchestra? And we have join. What is the correct form of this verb? Join. 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 Number four. B. I rather in a choir to play in our on in an orchestra. In this case, sing. What is the correct form of this verb? To sing. To sing. To sing. Okay. Now we're going to see the answer for this exercise. Let's see. Oh, but the, the ne sorry. Tell me. The, the, the last one is, is is not two two no. Yes, it's not two. Because it is a rather. Mm -hmm. In this case, you are just going to write. Mm -hmm. thing. Thing. So in this case, mm -hmm. we have three incorrect mm -hmm. answers. So in number three A is just have, just have. And number three B is just higher. You're not going to add two. And in the last one, as um, your partner said, is sing, not to sing. So you can see here 
What are the mistakes that we perform in this exercise? And you can not do it on your uh, practice. So let's continue. We're going to hear the next one that is a listening exercise that is 3.5. And let me see if this is working. Listen to three people talk about the part-time courses they took recently. What course did each person take? One, Linda. So Linda, what have you been doing with yourself? Not much. Oh, wait, that's not true. I took this great dancing class last semester. Oh yeah? What kind of dancing? We learned African dance and samba. Wait. Why would you want to learn African dance and samba? It sounds exhausting. And it's not like you would dance that way in the clubs. Oh, just for fun. You should try taking the class. You'll see that you learn more than just dancing. You also learn how to be more confident and how to interact better with other people. Hmm. I think with all that dancing around, I'd be too exhausted to interact with anyone. Two. Rich. So, how did you enjoy your cooking course? It was great. What kinds of things did you learn to cook? Well, it was a course on vegetarian cooking. I didn't know you were a vegetarian. Oh, I'm not. But a lot of people are these days. So I thought it would be useful to know how to make some interesting dishes without meat for times when I invite friends over for dinner. Hmm. Well, I guess that makes sense. Oh, but we learn more than just cooking. They also taught us all kinds of useful things about, you know, the health value of different kinds of vegetables and how to prepare them so that you don't remove all the vitamins they contain. So, uh, when's dinner? Three, Gwen. I just got my grade in the mail. I got an A. Wow, that's terrific. Congratulations. What kind of course was it? It was a course on how to open and run a small business. Oh, did it help? Yes, absolutely. We learned a lot of general principles and a lot about finance. Even if I don't open a business, I learned a lot about investing and managing money. Great. Can you manage my money? My finances are a mess. Okay, so there we have the audio. Um, that we have the audio program in which we are like listening to three different people talking about the part-time courses and um, they look recently and what course did each person take. So now for the number one, Linda, what is the uh, course that she is taking? Africa Dance and Samba. Okay, it says Africa dance and dance Okay, let's see. Number two, rich. Uh, vegetarian vegetarian cooking. cooking. Ah, vegetarian cooking. And number three, when? How to, how to run a small business. business. Ah, okay. How to run a small business. Good. Let's see. In a couple of minutes, because it is taking its time. Okay. In this one, all of them are correct. So now, Linda, African dance and samba, rich vegetarian cooking, and when how to run a small business. Okay, very good. Those uh, are the um, two of the uh, exercises that we need to perform on the platform. So in this case, we have just this information uh, related to the topics that we are um, seeing. So now we are going to continue. And in this case, we are going to see what is the other thing that we're going to do. <laughs> so, we're going to 
listen this one. Maybe I should try that. Maybe I should try that. And I need you to pay attention to the um, the techniques that they are uh, saying in the conversation because we're going to talk about that. But listen carefully the audio because we're going to work with that information. So let's see. Sometimes learning a language might be stressful. Hello, sometimes learning a language might be stressful, but you could improve by listening to music or by watching movies. Let's pay attention to the advice given and the following conversation. They might work for you too. So, how's your French class going? Not bad, but I'm finding the pronunciation difficult. Well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by listening to language CDs. That's a good idea. But how do you learn new vocabulary? I always seem to forget new words. I learn new English words best by writing them on pieces of paper and sticking them on things in my room. I look at them every night before I go to sleep. Hmm, maybe I should try something like that. Listen to two other people explain how they learn new words in a foreign language. What techniques do they use? One. I keep a record of new words I come across. Then I make up study cards. I write the word on one side of the card and the meaning on the other side. Oh, and I always include at least one sentence with a word in it. Then I go through the cards whenever I have some spare time, like when I'm waiting for my laundry to dry or on the bus and study the words until I know them by heart. Every week or so, I organize the cards into categories. You know I put all the words together that have to do with food, or work, or home, or school. Whatever I can find that my new words have in common. 2. I keep a vocabulary notebook. It's organized alphabetically. Whenever I hear or read a new word, I write it down. Then when I have time, I look it up in my dictionary. Then I put down some key information about the word. You know, whether it's a noun or a verb, and some examples of how it's used. I go through the notebook and study the words as often as I can. I really believe that the only way to learn new words, even in your own language, is by memorizing them. Which techniques do they use in the conversation? Okay, there we have the video in which they were talking about different techniques that they are using to learn English. So, uh, remember that on Monday, on session number one of this week, I was telling you to pay attention to the video or the intro video uh, for the section number three. And I tell you that we are going to find in, uh, important information related to, to the things that we are doing with the topics in this section. And that's why I was telling you that pay attention to the video, because in that case, in the intro video, we were talking about dancing. That is not related to English, but they were talking about what? They were talking about techniques. They were talking about like uh, the things they do to learn something. So in this case, in, in, you can uh, listen the things that they are saying on the, the conversation. You can find different techniques that people use to learn English. And in, in that case, in the uh, audio, you have like, very interesting techniques to learn new vocabulary or to practice English. And in that case, um, we have, for example, in the first part or in the first part of the conversation, it says, um, 
in that case, they are using French. They are not like speaking or talking about learning English. They are learning French. So um, it says that they are like finding very hard or difficult the pronunciation of the new language. And someone said, well, it takes a while to get it right. You could improve your accent by, and we have the technique here, by listening to languages, CDs. In that case, they were talking about CDs. That's a good idea, but how do you learn new vocabulary? That person have a, a really good question. How do you learn new vocabulary? And it says, I always seem to forget new words. I learn, and the other one said, I learn new English word best by writing. So that's another technique to write the words that we are learning. And it says that he is writing uh, the words on piece of paper and is sticking them on things in my room. Uh, in that case, it's like the things that we see or they are like the most common things that we can see in our houses. We can put uh, these sticky notes with words in the language that we are learning to remember that word. In that case, maybe you can have a word in your sticky notes, but you are going to say, what is the meaning of this word? And you are going to look for the meaning, uh, I mean, for the meaning, and you are going to say, oh, that's right, I was learning this word. And you are going to see and see and see and repeat the same word, and then you are going to have it in your brain. Then it says, I look at them every night before I go to sleep. This person uh, see the uh, sticky papers or the sticky notes every night. So it's like practicing, remembering and repeating the same words every night until he remembers the words without seeing the piece of paper. Then it said that mm, maybe I should try something like that. And then we have more techniques in the second part of the conversation. So I will uh, let you a question on the document. And that question is, what are the techniques that you um, listen on the conversation? That is one. What are the techniques that you listen on the conversation? And then you are going to think about the techniques that you, you uh, use to learn. In this case, you can take English as the example of the things that you are learning or another thing. So tomorrow we are going to start the session talking about the techniques that we use to learn English. What do you do? to learn English? What do you do to practice English? What do you do to remember the words in English? And what do you do to gain um, or to have more vocabulary in English? So I'm going to write the question there because you're going to find it on the document. So give me a second. I'm going to write it right now. <laughs> And you will have there the question and remember that you need to think about the technique that you're using to learn English. And we're going to have like a conversation tomorrow or kind of discussion about the techniques that we use. So it's time to end the session. Remember techniques, we're going to talk about techniques. So we're going to end the session here and we are going to see each other tomorrow in the last session of this week. So have a really good night and see you tomorrow. Teacher, can you send the document? I will send the link again to the group. Okay, teacher. Okay, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Good night. Thank you. Good night. Bye. Good night.